Uh, this is a little bit of a, a difficult day for a lot of us. Uh, we've been together with Ron for a long time. And we're going to have a change in the managerial position in this organization. And uh, just to give you a little background this morning, Ron and I met. And I think it was mutually agreed upon but that we're going to go this direction. Uh, he's been with this club for about 28 years. And ironically, he and I go way back to the Mets days, about six years prior to that. So we've been together way too much. I did want to mention that Dave St. Peter and also Jim Polad are on business right now. They will be available for your questions at a later time today. So if you've got questions for Dave or Jim, they're not ducking this press conference and they don't want to be perceived as such. So you can get them at a later time. I wanted to thank Gary for his contributions, not only on the field, but off. He's a big part of the history of this franchise. He's won a lot of games. He's been a minor league manager for us. He's been a player for us. He's been a coach for us. And now 13 years as a major league manager. Uh, we've had good years and we've had difficult years. There's no doubt about that. And more importantly, he's been about as important a figure for this franchise in the face of this franchise off, off the field. He's, he and his wife have been very charitable, not only with money and time as well. I thank his family for letting us borrow him for many, many years. His family is here. Now, the reason for this change, I think it's safe to say the last couple years we've not won enough games. That's about what it comes down to. It's nothing more, nothing less than that. We just haven't won enough games. So we decided to go this route after talking to, to Jim Polad and Dave St. Peter. This isn't just uh, one person's opinion. We decided to make this change. The coaches staff, and there's seven of them, and all of their contracts run through December 31st. They're in limbo for the time being, and their situation will not clear up until we hire the next manager with his input, whoever that might be. I did want to, before I turn this over to Gardy, I wanted to mention that he has been offered a position in this organization. He's under contract, as you know, through 2015, and I would very much like it if he would accept that, but that'll be up to him for another time and another date. So he would be very welcome to work here if he so choose, chose. He may have other opportunities elsewhere. And with that, uh, once Gardy gets done speaking, then we'll open it up for questions. Well, uh, thanks for uh, coming to this. I don't know. Uh, uh, a lot of people you need to thank. There's no way that I'm going to be able to uh, include everybody in. Uh, but. A lot of people that I've worked with, my coaching staffs, uh, Terry, Billy, Rob, um, uh, Jack, you guys have all been fantastic, and I'm missing an awful lot of people here. Uh, all the players that have played here, they've been fantastic to me and treated me very well in my family. Uh, uh, the clubhouse guys sitting right in this room, they mean everything to me. Dustin, uh, Michael, and all your staff. Fantastic people, folks. This is a great organization. Uh, I've gotten to know a lot of people here that work inside this stadium, uh, and they take care of my wife better than I do. And uh, so there's a lot here involved, and uh, I've been doing it a long time. Very proud that I've ran this organization as the manager for this many years. You don't get that many opportunities by too many teams, and this organization has been very good to me, so I'm very happy with that and very proud of it. Uh, to say that I had a part in this. Uh, I'm gone. I'm, I'm out of here because we didn't win. That's what it gets down to in baseball. That's what it should get down to. You have to win on the field. And these last four years have been tough for all of us. And it doesn't matter uh, anything other than that. It's all about wins and losses. This organization's a great organization. We'll continue to be a great organization. And, and honestly, I'm just happy to have been a part of it. And uh, I'll move forward and see where it takes me from here. Uh, the Polad family has been unbelievable. From Carl, uh, when I first got hired uh, through the sons here, they've taken care of me and always been very, very good to me and my wife. And uh, it's been a pleasure working for them. And uh, something you'll never forget, folks. I'll never forget this. And then you in this room, the press. 
Uh, you guys have been very kind to me, not lately, but, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is, and you have a job to do, and I think I've always shown you the respect to let you do your job, and if I've had a disagreement with you, I've normally told you about it. Uh, that's the way I go about my business, but, uh, you know, for the most part, you guys have been fantastic. So, uh, uh, except for Bernardino called my wife and tweeted it today, that wasn't great. That was really funny. It's okay. It's, I can handle it today. Remember, now I'm a fan. I can punch you in the nose. <laughs> okay, so let's take it from there. Go ahead. Terry, did you come up, up, did you come to this decision independently or did you seek input from ownership and Dave before you came to this decision? Well, Jim, you know, I, I wouldn't do anything independent of ownership. There's no doubt. I have bosses and Dave and, and Jim are my immediate boss along with the Polad family. So I went and we've had our meetings and, and recently, as most of you know, I just had a, a big time physical had, having to know whether or not I'm coming back. Well, I passed the physical and I am coming back. So then the next step is to meet with Dave and Jim and, and we talked this thing through and we decided this is the route we want to go as a unit, not just one person. Terry, you, you were adamant last year and in the last couple of years that talent was the first and foremost, that you hadn't given Ron enough talent and players. Can you assess where that talent is and what was different this time around when you guys came to the year-end decision? Yeah, Phil, we're, we're better. We're better, and the, the record doesn't indicate maybe that w what we have going on is a little better. I'm not saying it's sizable, but we've got some pieces here, and, and Gardy and I both agree. We're a better ball club. Sometimes we didn't win enough games, or sometimes we didn't put games away. And he's dependent on exactly what we provide for him. I've, been, I've acknowledged that forever. I'm not going to hide from the talent level. He's done the best he could with the product that he's been given for the most part. And ultimately, we just decided to come to this decision. Gardy, how hard is it to, to leave this team now when you, you see what's coming up in the minors? You see the talent is so close that you know, this could be a very quick turnaround, whoever sits in your seat next. Well, I hope it is. Um, I'll be, uh, I'm a fan now. And uh, to see the talent that we had this year was fun. Uh, these games playing against teams in playoff contention was fun. That was, that was what I wanted our guys to experience and get a taste of it because I believe here in the new fu near future they're going to be right back in the middle of that. So um, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I, th I told Terry today that I think this is the right thing. I think I've been here a long time. I've been doing this a long time. It, sometimes people need to hear a different voice. And you know what? I have no problem with this. Uh, uh, I love it here. Really have no desire to go anywhere else. but. Life changes, and you have to do things you don't want to do, but uh, I, I agree with this. I think this is the right thing. I think they need a new face here. I've been here a long time. I've been doing it. They've given me a great opportunity, but let's see what happens here. I want this organization to win, uh, and you know what? I'll be rooting just like everybody else. Gardy, are you burned out at all from the last few years? Does it take a toll on you, or do you still have the fire in the belly to manage again somewhere sometime? No, I'm not burned out at all. I, I still love going to the ballpark. I love hanging out with the players. I love hanging out with the clubhouse guys. Uh, uh, you know, we have a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun this year at the end. Baseball, once you get on the field and you lose a ball game, that's when it's the toughest. Uh, but all that leading up to it, the work on the field, all those things are still a blast. I love that part of it. I'm tired right now, but that's just because the season just ended. Uh, and you're a little bit mentally and physically beat up. But uh, I still love going to the ballpark. I love what I'm doing. And if there's another opportunity, and I think it might be right for myself and my family, I would do that. Uh, Terry, uh, you mentioned that you passed the physical. Uh, in terms of your looking in the mirror beyond that, were, you, were you're thinking as well that maybe a new voice should be heard? you feel like you're in a position to continue to run this organization to the best of your ability and, and give the next manager the kind of talent that he needs to succeed in this division? Yeah, well, I think so, Mark. Uh, once I got past the month of July, it, you know, it started to, to uh, be a normal schedule for me, traveling in the minor leagues and uh, seeing what we have down in the farm system. And then I was with the, the big club all September almost. And my energy level and my health status and, you know, there are some things that whenever you have what I've had, you're always going to be a little concerned. But this guy, the doctor I had says, go to it. You know, you can do anything you want to do. And consequently, there are some good things to look forward to in the organization. This day here, sitting next to this man is not one of them. This is a tough day. But 
He's given us everything he has. We're going to change the voice and we're going to change the presence. We've got to continue on. We've changed managers, I think, once in the last 25 years here. That's unheard of in professional sports. I have the, the uh, ability to move forward. I certainly have the want to move forward. And Jim Polad and Dave St. Peter asked me to come back, so we're going to do that very thing. Terry, you mentioned how long you and Guardy had been together. This is the toughest thing you've ever had to do in baseball, isn't it? Well, there's no doubt about that. I feel like he's my brother, not my manager. You know, I, obviously I was with the Mets when he was a player over there. I'm the one that got him over here, for God's sakes. Now, he didn't play very well when we got him here. He was in AAA and he wanted to be in the big leagues, but I think even back in his earliest days with the Mets, I think a lot of us over there recognized that this guy's got the potential to be a major league manager. How little did I know at that point that he'd ultimately be a manager for the Twins and, and go on to the heights that he has gone on to. He's just a good baseball man. You know, he does a lot of things right. And the next manager we're looking for here is going to have a lot of the attributes that Ron has. He's got a lot of those things that every manager in the game wish they did have. He's tremendous with his charisma. He's a leader. He's an accountable guy, you know, all the things that you're looking for and a guy that uh, would be the next person here. Terry, with this decision, you gave Gardy a two-year deal and then you only let him last one year. Why the difference when you decided last year that there was... Shh. Shh. I don't know. Is he on a two-year, Jim? I didn't know that. Shh. Trying to lose me money right now, Jim. Yeah, that's, that's okay, Jim. I'm not worried about the money is secondary in this situation. We gave him a two-year deal last year because all I did is get hounded after having him on a one-year deal. As you well remember, I got asked that about every other day. So I thought there's no sense in having him be a lame duck guy another year because it caused all kinds of distraction. And if we know th one thing about professional sports, the less distraction you can have going in on a daily basis in a professional team is a contract. And I didn't want that to happen to him again. I mentioned that last year. I don't want him to have him go through that again. Ron, uh, Terry did mention that they, there is an offer to stay in the organization. Are you considering that right now, or how, where, where does that sit? Uh, you know, I have to sit mind? back and think about a few things. I, 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 you know what? I don't, I'm not done managing, I don't think. Uh, Right now, I, I just want to take a time and step back. As I've said all along, I love this organization. Um, I haven't even come close to talking with Terry on what kind of position that would be. Um, you know, so I, I have, I, there's so much involved right now. I'm just trying to grasp what I'm going to do for the, I'm going to be a grandpa here pretty soon. That's the first and foremost thing on my mind. I can't wait till my daughter has this baby. It's supposed to be Halloween. That would be fitting. And you know what, that's next thing on my mind right now. I'm waiting for my daughter to have this baby. I'm going to go down with her and hang out with her for a little bit and wait for that. And then we move on from there and see where, where it takes you. Terry, do you envision any other changes to the organization right now? And do you want to keep some of the current coaches in the organization? Well, we haven't even got through the organizational meetings yet, Jim. I've talked to every coach that we have, the seven guys, and explained the situation and that they're in limbo because of the, the major league manager is not in place now. And if they were to get a, an offer or somebody had interest, they go through us and we'll get permission for people to talk to them. I can't hold them up. If they have a chance to get a major league job, for instance, I ought to let them go just in case the next guy might not want them. There are people in this organization that are very talented and we'll certainly address that as the next guy is named. Terry, how, how wide will the net be cast, and what, what sort of timeline are you looking for in, in getting this uh, new successor here? Yeah, it, it's going to take some time, Eric, just uh, for the, the reason that you've got to get people logistically in place to, to talk to them. Now, whether or not I fly them here, or whether or not I go to wherever they're at, and then uh, the uh, net, I think, will we'll certainly open it up to anybody and everybody that is capable of managing a major league baseball team. I don't think we ought to just stay within, although that's a, that would be a nice preference if you could. And that will be addressed and uh, certainly explored. But also there are people outside the organization you certainly ought to consider and we'll get it, we'll get it done as soon as we can. Ron, I know you said you guys met this morning. Did you have a sense at all in the last few weeks or just down the stretch that this decision might be the one that ultimately came down? Definitely had thought about it. Um, 
didn't know which way it was going to go, and I had questions I asked myself uh, to Terry and, and uh, you know, what we thought was best for this organization. We had talked about that a little bit, about what was best for this organization, and, uh, you know, what we were going to talk when the season ended, and that's what we did this morning, and uh, came to the conclusion that, you know, maybe this is time. It's time for a change, maybe the voice, the whole package, and see where you go from there. And uh, so... Did I know it was going to happen? I knew it was a possibility, uh, you know. Terry, uh, are there current coaches that you will interview for the managing job? Well, first I have to see if they have interest in it. You know, some, some people look like they might be a candidate and don't have any interest in this job. This is a tough racket. You can ask Ron about the, the demands, not only during the season, but certainly off season. Some guys just aren't cut out to be a manager. Some are, and we'll see. Certainly, if one comes to me and decides that he wants to interview for this job, I more than likely will give him that shot if I think he's qualified. You said your preference would be to stay in. No, the my no. preference is to get the best guy. Okay. Are you at a point where it'd you be think nice to get a guy that's inside because he know the workings of this organization and the market, and the ballpark and the personnel. That would be great, but sometimes it's not meant to be. Do you think it would help to have a? Uh, somebody outside the organization come in? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. No, I would say if he's the best guy, I think it would help. You got to get the best person. Other questions? Phil? Terry, will you be a committee of one uh, in interviewing candidates and looking for uh, the next manager? No, it would not be a committee of one, Phil. That's not a good way to go about it. Back when we hired Gardy, I think Bill was involved in, in hiring Gardy with me as well as Krivsky and Mike Radcliffe and those types of guys that I would converse with. Plus, I would reach out to many of our people to give me recommendations on who they think is the best guy out there. So it would be more than just, uh, it would be quite a few people actually. With the okay certainly of our president and Jim Polet as well. Joe. Gary, if you look back at your 13 years, is, is there one memory that uh, you're going to hold uh, the most uh, you know, treasured? Well, I, that's a tough question. There's a lot of great things that have happened around here and uh, a lot of big games and all those things. I don't think I'm set. I'm ready to sit and say, you know, this or that. I, I, I hasn't really, uh, you know, had much time to really think about all those things. I know there's a lot of really good things that happen, and there's been some pretty rough ones. Um, so I'd have to really sit back and think about that. Two more. Gardy, uh, your uh, playoff record, though. Uh, how it much sucks. Do, okay, uh, go ahead, uh, throw it out there. How much does that? Uh, how much does that feel like unfinished business? I guess as you. Uh, oh, well, I mean. Everybody would, I would love to have won a World Series. I would love to have gone deeper, won more games, but it is what it is. You can't bring those things back. You move forward. Uh, we didn't play well in the playoffs. That's on my record. I'll take it. I'll wear it. But we were in the playoffs, and we got there. And uh, you got to live with that part of it, too. That's all part of baseball. You guys keep stats on that stuff, and I read it all the time. So, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, sure, I'd love to have won more games in the playoffs. I'd love to have won a World Series. Didn't happen. Maybe it's still, still to come. Terry, uh, a lot of Latin players coming through your system. Many have already made it here. How much of a factor would bilingualism or, or even a, a Latin background uh, be for a managerial candidate? Yeah, diversity will be a part of this decision here, Mike, whether it's a coach or a manager. Gardy, do you have advice for the person that's following you in this position? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. You're you're in a better shape. You're in a better position than when I came in, because you're not talking about being contracted. Because <laughs> that's all we ever heard about, which was out there, and that's all was ever talked about when I first got the job, and it was ridiculous. And we we're going to take the Minnesota Twins away from here. This is our team. So, but it was talked about, and the new guys coming in, he's just all he's got to do is. Not win, not lose 90 games. He'll be good. 